Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Dr. P. Welcome back today for another video. I really appreciate you taking the time to stop back by. Now, in today's video, I want to go over every theory that's out there, every plausible theory that I've been going over in the entirety of my past week's worth of videos and compile the main points into this one video. Recently, I've been gaining a lot more subscribers and I've been getting a lot of questions in regards to what I'm saying in these theories, so I thought I'd lay it out for you very plainly in a very easy to access manner. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. Go ahead and join the family by subscribing and help me get closer to my goal of 400k. We're almost there. Also, if you like what you see in this video, go ahead and give this video the thumbs up. Let's try and hit 1500 likes. Huge shout out to these homies for using my support a creator code in the item shop for Fortnite. It's Pineapples YT. If you want to shout out yourself in the next video, just send me a screenshot proving you're supporting me as a creator. So we'll start with the eggs slash the castle. If you guys didn't know, there is a castle on Polar Peak, which actually has been melting constantly ever since it arrived it's been melting all the way down to the point that we're in right now and you can see exactly what the castle looks like as i record this video on screen right now this is just moments ago before i started this recording you can see underneath there are eggs we believe they're dragon eggs based on all the hints we've gotten and all the ideas we think we know but the possibility is always there for it to be something else if it were to be something else, the possibility, or at least the biggest second theory I know about this, is that they would be some kind of sea monsters. One of the next theories we're going to get into in a second, called the Flood Theory, kind of goes to back that up a little bit. Now, the ice has actually got a good ways to go. I'm not sure when it's going to continue fully melt and be completely done. What's actually inside of the ice is the rest of this underground room, which is the dungeon. Donald Mustard has even teased this room on his Twitter by changing his location to a place called the dungeon, which all but certainly has to be this place. Dragons in a dungeon. That makes a lot of sense. That's where they would be. A dungeon is where you would throw prisoners, and there are lots and lots of torture chambers in here with really bloody equipment, so one can imagine that's what they were used for. All the signs lead to this being a dungeon, not to mention it's in a castle. There have also been several reports of dragon roars being audible throughout the map, especially when it gets late into the game, and especially when it ends around Polar Peak or close in the vicinity of. Famous streamers such as Cypher PK and Ninja have even talked publicly about the next mythic weapon or mythic item being the dragons. Just lots and lots of signs pointing towards those eggs actually being dragon eggs. And what might come of that in the future? That remains to be seen. So now let's move on to the second main theory surrounding Season 7 right now, and that is the return of Kevin the Cube. Of course, you guys know Kevin. He was founded in Season 5 when a strike of lightning hit the map and created him. He roamed around the map for two or three seasons, I'd say like two seasons, uh, doing various random things, and at the end of his life, he exploded, and that's the last we knew of him. Strangely enough, not too long ago, he started appearing in lobby loading screens, and I asked you guys if you had seen him in your lobbies too, and a overwhelming majority of you guys answered my call and let me know on Twitter in the comments section anywhere you could get a hold of me, that yes, we can see Kevin. He is in almost 99% of our lobbies. What does this mean? Well, I've always said that Kevin probably had a good shot to return because he had a lot of unfinished business. I mean, there was no real explanation about why he was there, what was controlling him, or what his purpose was. So I'd like to see him come back and get some of those questions answered. But also, I thought he could come back purely based on the fact that he left fragments of himself in the middle of Loot Lake when he exploded. I actually had an interesting point raised to me that if Kevin actually exploded and left pieces of himself in the middle of Loot Lake, wouldn't that mean the cube we're seeing in the lobby loading screen would be another cube? Because Kevin left most of himself, or at least a lot of himself, in the game. That actually makes a lot of sense. What we're seeing could be the hinting, the first glimpses of another cube. And if it is another cube, here's a question in the comments. What should his name or her name be? We had Kevin. I've seen some people suggest Carl. You know, I'd kind of get on board with Carl, but of course, let me know your suggestions. Next up, we have the flood theory. So this theory actually stems 
completely from all of the ice that's melting at Polar Peak and most likely the surrounding areas at some point or another. If it's melting at one part, it seems like areas just like a couple hundred feet away or even tens of feet away would melt too. And based on that logic, it seems like the rest of the map could be in jeopardy of losing all the rest of its snow too. So now you're talking about a surplus of water and it would probably stack up somewhere at least for a little bit. It could be a temporary stage in the game's development. We all have temporary stages in every season. Something always is coming or going. So yeah, that makes sense. But also I think it's worth pointing out that recently in season seven, one of the main updates has been the addition of the zip lines. Now, if you'll notice at the top of all of the zip lines, there is a little housing tent or shelter and inside there are computers, there is a full kitchen area, and there are a bunch of bunk beds and places to sleep. So I wonder if it's possible these could have been set up in anticipation of some kind of a flash flood to give people shelter, but not only shelter, easy access to the shelter on the high ground to avoid the places that would flood. There are even a number of hints in the Season 7 Battle Pass that have aquatic or water-themed vibes around them, and as we know, they often like to tease things inside of the Battle Pass and let us think a little bit before we actually get something in the game. It would make perfect sense, and even if it's not going to be a flood, I think there's going to be some kind of map catastrophe that happens, and that's the reason why those shelters and the zip lines are set up. If it's not going to be a flood, then maybe it could be the dragons that take over and burn everywhere and make it so everyone has to resort to these shelters and use the zip lines to get there. That could be the reason. It could be something we're not even talking about. Be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comments. And that leads us finally to the nuclear missile theory. This stems all around one of the new gliders that actually everyone in the game got for free as kind of compensation for Epic messing up the uh, end dates of the 14 days of Fortnite event. So this glider, the Equalizer, actually has a secret message written on the bottom of it. If you go and look at it in Playground, you can see, warning, nuclear missile launched. It actually says this two different times on both sides of the glider. So with that said, it's probably a pretty big hint Considering they gave it to everyone for free, they decided to give this glider to everyone. Maybe so they could speed up the process of people figuring out that there was a secret message on it because it took a day or two before anyone, at least I saw, pointed it out. So this is definitely interesting. And you know what? This could also be, going back to the last theory, one of those tragedies or catastrophes that could possibly happen to force people into those shelters above the zip lines. Just a thought. So obviously the Fortnite lore community and Reddit was all over the place trying to decipher what this meant. I made a video sharing my thoughts originally and basically I said, okay, so it looks like there's something that's coming at us. Maybe not, maybe it's just a troll. It could very easily be a troll just as much as a hint, but it's definitely worth talking about. Based on what the glider says, it says a nuclear missile has been launched, not is launching, but is currently on the way. Lots of people pointed out the similarities between the rocket launch in Season 4, you guys know, with the Visitor and all that jam, and the New Year's event for 2019, with the fireworks that launched. I gotta admit, they do look similar, and I wonder, as well as a lot of other people, whether or not that could have been a hint for what's coming in the future. Maybe the Visitor is coming back with his rocket to finish what he started? This little number has also been appearing in the sky for a lot of people. I've actually seen lots and lots and lots of screenshots of people claiming this is in the sky right now. It looks a lot like kind of how a nuclear missile would, especially there on the bottom. It looks a lot like one, so I wonder if this could be the missile that's currently on its way here that's been launched. I don't know, I'm definitely curious as to whether or not you guys have seen this. There's also a sign out in the desert biome that looks to have what would be a nuclear missile, more like a nuclear bomb right in the middle there. It's actually located at H9 on the map. I don't know if that means anything, but definitely worth pointing out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I wanted to go over everything kind of generally and touch on the main points of the main theories because we're getting to the point now where something's got to give, something's going to happen in the game, and it looks like at least one of these is bound to come true. 
probably multiple. Make sure you are subscribed and join the Fruit Faction so you can be notified every time something happens in Fortnite. I'm covering it as fast as possible. Drop a like on the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys.